Hey guys, and welcome, welcome to Vlogmas, Vlogmas Day 4. Can you believe it's already Vlogmas Day 4? No, I know. Good morning, guys. We just got up about like, well, no, sorry. <laughs> I just got up like half an hour ago. I got up at 7.40. Yeah. I had aimed for seven, but I ended up editing until like 1.30 last night. I thought I'd get it done sooner, but I had a lot of montage footage to go through. When I deal with long montages, that usually takes me a long time when I'm editing. We are opening up the blinds. It's so sunny in here. I'm gonna get ready and I'm going to film my B-roll for my DIY video. Then we have to get ready to go downtown. Sebastian has a hair appointment at noon, right? Yep. So that's on the agenda. Uh, and then when we go downtown, I think I'm gonna finish editing yesterday's vlog. I really have to get my nails done, but now I'm like, I still have to finish yesterday's vlog. I don't know how the timing's gonna work out. We won't be able to call them until like 11 anyways, cause that's when they open to get my nails done. And I would also like to get my caterpillars treated today because my brows are looking pretty bushy. They're just like, unkempt. Yesterday, Sebastian and I forgot to give each other our little advent calendar gifts. We had talked, oops, sorry. We had talked about it, but I completely forgot. I'm gonna give him this gift now. Sebastian? Yeah. You got your advent gift for me? Of course, okay. I'm a lot less prepared than I thought I would be by this point. I still haven't really gotten any Christmas gifts for Sebastian. The good thing is, is I've done most of my mom's shopping, uh, especially the big gifts, which was something I was concerned about because she's so hard to shop for. She's not very girly. She's not like my sister I. She's not like a girly girl. She doesn't love tech stuff, although I usually get her tech stuff every year anyway. Sebastian, however, is also very difficult to shop for because he always asks me for things like indoor farming and I'm like, no. <laughs> so we don't have how, the space for hey, that. How is it difficult to shop for me if I tell you? You ask me for things and we don't even have the space for them. You're so cute. The only problem with the thing with indoor farming is, is that we don't even have storage as it is. We have to use like bedrooms as extra storage and I don't really want to have like indoor farming on the main level or something or in the studio, walk in there and see like plants everywhere. <laughs> I, think it's I feel like cool. I sound mean. I told you, if we had a normal garage or extra rooms where you could have that kind of thing, I would be so for it. I wouldn't care. I would get you the indoor farming thing. I don't really want to have a farm in my living room. <laughs> Wow, this camera gets really heavy. Because yeah, I'm going to the gym in a while. Okay, thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> it's not heavy, you're just I feel, weak. No, I feel, yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess I can just grab it myself. I was going to pass it to you to give it to me. Do you want to pass it to you to give it to me? Okay, this is mine. This is yours. Cool. Oh, awesome. You know what's so funny? They didn't have the one that we love. I got him deodorant. This I know is, because I tried to buy yeah, it. Yeah, the Old Spice one. I got this one because you know what it says? Mm. Kraken guard. And I think this is a German word, isn't it? Kraken? No. <laughs> but there's two dots it's, in the A. It's made up. And Kraken, isn't that a German word, Kraken? Yeah, octopus, right? But we call it Kraken. Oh, it wasn't <laughs> even okay. the best smelling one. I just thought it was the <laughs> German one. Okay. <sighs> I actually hate the smell of this one. <laughs> It was two ninety seven. Oh really? That's yeah, so it was cheap. under my three dollar limit. Isn't that awesome? That is crazy, actually. Yeah, and again, those I are actually to good give like stocking stuff too. ideas. Like thinking yeah, about but I would get like you the good ones. For like under three dollars. Yeah, right. No, but, because I like to buy nice stocking stuffers. It's like a yeah, gift. Yeah, but my in stocking stuffers are usually around like two or three dollars. <laughs> Except that he doesn't do stockings. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. My mom always does my stocking. I always do your Can't stocking you. though. What do we got here? Cool. I just ruined my is beauty that, blender. Is it the right thing? Is like, it the right thing? I have no idea. I've never used the Walmart ones, but I just ruined my beauty blender. I hope these are good though. Mm. I mean, if they're not good, I'll still use them. Thank you. So I got two new beauty blenders. Oh no. Shit. Cleanse and blend set of sponges. My makeup is on and now I'm just getting my curling iron heated up so I can curl my hair. I've had a few questions about this look. Last year during Vlogmas, I did a whole tutorial on how I do this look. Pretty much wear the same look every winter season. We don't know if we're gonna have enough time to film full B-roll because I still have to set everything up, but I am gonna do my intro and then when we leave, I'm gonna start editing everything when we go downtown. For my hair, I'm using the Amica Clipless Barrel. Oh my gosh, this thing is so old and dirty. On my wish list this year, Sebastian asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I put down the T3 version of this, but obviously it's T3 so the quality's a little bit better. So I have some dry shampoo in my hair 
and sprayed a ton of this Orbe texturizing spray. Everyone raves about this stuff and it works really well on Sebastian, but it kind of just makes my hair feel gross. But I'm thinking about trying some of their other products. This stuff is ridiculously expensive though. It definitely did not live up to the price tag for me. <laughs> so bad. If any of you guys live in the lower mainland and you know someone who's really good, please let me know. I've always had a very hard time finding stylists because usually you'll go to them and you'll be like, oh, I just want to trim. And then all of a sudden you walk out of there with eight inches cut off your hair. I forgot how long it takes to curl your hair with a smaller barrel. There's this girl I follow on Instagram and I also love her blog and her name's Caitlin. Her blog is called Southern Curls and Pearls and on Instagram her name is CM Coveen. She uses a one inch barrel on her hair and she has like the nicest hair ever. Like it's absolutely perfect. She has like such nice curls all the time. So she inspired me to curl my hair with a one inch barrel. She's also the reason that I added the T3 curling one set to my wish list because first of all, my clipless iron here doesn't hold the right temperature. So there's that, but also I really love T3 products. I've been using T3 for like ever. I remember I had like the very first version of their Evolution blow dryer and it was my baby. And then it was dropped and broken and I have the featherweight now and the featherweight's just not as good. These curls are so tight. I feel like I should have brought them up closer to my scalp. I guess I finally found a use for this spray. It really helps like keep your hair a little bit more separated and fluffy versus having really tight ringlets. My hair will usually try to like revert back into the ringlet form, but it looks like this might keep it a little bit more separated for a while. I normally use a Santa hat in my intros. I don't know if I want to wear one today. Let's see. This just encourages Sebastian to call me an elf though. So I don't know if I'm down for that. <laughs> Mrs. Claus, at your service. Hey guys, so update. We are on our way downtown. Sebastian has a hair appointment and then I'm gonna get my nails done. And then he has a business meeting. I just finished filming my intro, but I don't think I like it. The background just looks very boring and plain. So I might later on set up my studio for a better background. I just don't like filming in my bedroom. There's this wooden panel thing that goes above the bed and it just looks really awkward in shots. I'm wearing a beret. Sebastian says I look French when I wear this. So. <laughs> and I've got my new sweater on. I love it. I really need a new curling iron. That was on my Christmas maybe, list. Maybe a T3. And you remembered! Cute boy. Do you think I need a haircut? I don't know. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize. I think I'm okay. Sebastian just showered, so there's cut everywhere. We're at Starbucks now. Sebastian has a medium in a little bit, so he dropped me off here to edit, and then I have my nail appointment, which is right next door. So convenient. I'm checking out the holiday stuff here. They don't have any of the cute little espresso cups. This is cute. I love these, and this is so beautiful. Look at those. Got our huge. Ooh, that looks delicious. So I just got my nails done, same as always. Super glittery. Back at Starbucks, waiting for Sebastian to come pick me up after he has his meeting. decided to grab something quick to eat because we still have to grab the tree and it's after like five o'clock now we're both starving so we stopped at our favorite place ever which seems like we go here all the time but we only ever go here when we're vlogging that's true which is new york flies flies new york flies we're eating flies new york fries so we got some poutine oh my gosh i'm so excited i haven't had this in so long and it looks delicious we get a regular poutine with extra cheese extra gravy we're here that won't fit, I don't think, would it? We're ready to check out. And we literally only had the option between two, really, so it's lucky this one's working out for us. I love it. We just got home. 
So now we have to kind of rearrange the whole living room so that we can fit the tree in that corner. And Sebastian actually has to get up at three o'clock in the morning to go to the airport. And it's already 8.50 at night. This is probably gonna be like a quick process of trying to move everything around, get the tree set up. We have to flock it on Thursday. Oh, we can flock it tomorrow night when I'm back. Oh, wait, I wanna what? show you guys something. So Abercrombie & Fitch, which is where this sweater is from, <laughs> they had- I'm gonna show you a little haul. Well, it's actually not everything I ordered. I ordered a couple of things yesterday from there because they had 30% off of clearance prices and a lot of their stuff, like all of their winter stock is on half off or at least 30% off. Everything I got was originally about like $64 and I got everything for $22. The first thing I got is a cream sweater, which I know is not surprising. I wasn't even gonna get this, but I showed Sebastian the sweater in a different color and he didn't like it. So I ended up ordering the color I was gonna get originally and this color. And then if I don't like one of them, I'll just return it. But it has like these large sleeves, which is the main reason I got it. Super cute. So I ordered another one of those, but it's not here yet because I did it for a store pickup. And then I ordered this romper onesie type thing and it has a Sherpa hood, which is super, super soft. I'm a huge fan of their onesies because they always have the nice hoods and they stay soft. Some of my other hoods from Victoria's Secret don't stay soft. Also, it has these little pom-poms, which are super cute. It is large. This one is very, very full. I think last year's tree was really full too, but I feel like it might have been more proportionally full. This one's very thick at the bottom. I have to look at last year's vlogs to decide if last year's is as full as this year's. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It keeps me motivated. And also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also, let me know what you guys are up to over the holiday season. I love when you guys leave comments and tell me what's up with you guys. Uh, it's already day five tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be the vlog where Sebastian goes to San Francisco. So it's gonna be a little bit of a different vlog. I'll be home alone by myself, but he does come back in the evening so we might have some like clips and stuff together but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you all in vlogmas day five bye guys Merry christmas